So if you're talking car wraps that really wrap around entire complex car panels, then decal machine is not ideal or usable at all to actually simulate this. What you can do with decal machine without issues, however, is definitely insert localized stickers, right? Let me demo it and bring in this decal. Let me position it a little bit higher, although it shouldn't matter. You can then just project it. In this case, I happen to have inserted the decal while my mouse was exactly on top of this little separate object, and so that's what it was projected on. And from an existing projected decal, you can always get back the original flat decal like this. And then you can project it on another object by selecting that target object last and project again. Now you can see the sticker here wraps around this piece. And of course, this sticker here that surrounds this smaller piece. Also here, if you just take a look at the isolated hood, you can see how the sunk part conforms just fine. Decal Machine actually uses a different approach than what you and many other people think. It's not at all modifier-based, like using the shrink wrap mod. It's not doing that. Instead, the decal follows the topology of the mesh you project on exactly. This guarantees a much tighter fit. You could also use the shrink wrap method. For instance, if you want to shrink wrap, you can do that too by holding down the shift key when you project. You can also adjust the height of the decal, which is just the distance to the surface. The benefit of the shrink wrap method is that you can move the decal after projection, but it comes at the cost of an imperfect fit. Whereas this projected decal, you can't move it, and it doesn't make sense to move it because the topology is identical to the underlying mesh. But this one you can move, and as long as you hold down the control key to snap it to the object below, it should conform okay-ish. If you don't do that, you may encounter issues where if it finds areas where there's no mesh, you get these odd results. I think you saw this in your attempts as well. I now unshrink wrap this, and then project it using the default method. Then the part where it doesn't hit anything will be cut away completely. And actually, that's not quite what I expected because the tool also tries to automatically determine the projection depth. It can get it wrong or maybe not ideal. So you can also manually set the projection depth using the Alt key. Then you can move your mouse and set exactly how far you want it to project. I tend to go further than I need. Now it projected here and here, and the other parts are cut away. Notice some issues here, but it's easy to fix. Just increase the height of the decal a little, it's just sunk into the surface a bit. Now you need to understand that this is not a decal wrap like in the real world. It's not following material constraints. If you were to wrap this around in the real world, then the material would bend right around this. But this is not how the projection works in decal machine. It's much more primitive than that. Let me show you. I project this and again, set the depth manually. You can see how far I want to go. This will then be the cutoff. Let's actually rotate this to better show what I'm going to explain. If I now go all the way to the bottom, then this is also all the way where it will project. You can see how much it stretches the material, which is something that wouldn't happen in the real world, right? The letters wouldn't stretch out if you wrap it around. Also, you notice that it doesn't conform to this section because the projection is strictly in this direction of the decal's z-axis. As soon as it projects on a face that points the opposite way, these faces will be removed because usually these are undersized and you don't want to project on them. But in a case like yours, you probably would want it to wrap to these parts too. And so, you can try and find a better angle that accommodates all of these surface parts. But again, it won't be a physical projection. Even though here you can see that there's some stretching of the for now, in general, it works fairly well. Just don't expect physically conforming stickers that really wrap around your geometry. It's much more primitive than that. I hope that clears up your questions.
You could project on this grid too if you wanted to. Get the backup. Select the target object, then project. You can then also always edit the projected decal mesh and remove parts that are redundant. I don't need these empty parts here, for instance. Something like that.